Okay. Hi. Good evening. My name is Richard Rangasamy. I'm a retired chef and uh, I've been cooking is my passion. I had a, a takeaways out in Malmesbury last year, 2023, and I had to close it uh, in December last year. And because of my going blind, I was, and I've been to the doctors, I've been here to the clinic, and I had to close this place and it was a very busy place and cooking was my passion so anyway I came here to this uh, clinic here in Chatsworth and they told me uh, I have to wait because I fall under I asked them if they can't refer me to another hospital they said no I fall under Swatland uh, Swatland uh, in this area so I need to go to Paul and I have to wait because I've been waiting already over six months, nearly six months. Then I told them, please, is there nothing you can do because I'm losing my eyes, I lost my business and I'm becoming blind. Then they checked me, they said it was cataracts. Then eventually one doctor came and she, I don't know, had compassion for me or what. And she wrote even in the a referral letter for me that I lost my business and I need to be seen by a doctor. So I went to the Krotsky, they gave me a, re a referral letter to the Krotsky Hospital. When I got to Krotsky Hospital, they examined, did a test on me and all this. And, uh, you know, I was so excited that day I went to Krotsky, they said, I said, it's a cataract, and uh, you know, they said cataract, they just put a laser on you, and a few hours, and your eyes will be back to normal, and you won't even wear specs and all this. So I was excited now. I said, Lord, yo, this is the, the way. Uh, when I got there, they did all this test and put me, I, put me on these x-rays of my eyes, and... And they brought out a chart and they said to me, uh, Mr. Rangasamy, I'm sorry to tell you, but you have a, a virus on your eye, both eyes. You are busy going blind. And you know, I said, what? Can't be. I said, I have to. He said, yes, you do have cataract, but it's, it's a minor. That's not the thing. You have a virus, something that is uh, on your nerve that is busy uh, 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 taking your sight away mm. and uh, the moist around your eye, all those things. Well, I didn't know. I was so devastated, you know, that I'm going to lose my eyesight, in other words. And he said to me, you got about six months, or but he's going to give me something, uh, drops and all this. I don't know. I, I still brought it last night. And, uh, you know, it was like it hit me, like, you know, I, I, I went expecting to come out of that hospital seeing, but yeah, I came into the hospital knowing now I'm going blind, so I said, is there nothing? He said, the only thing, there's no cure for it, but we can slow it down by the things, uh, uh, medication where we're going to give you and this and that. So anyway, I went, said, well, then... And they gave me a date now for the 27th of March. Uh, and uh, I could see, I couldn't, I, I had to call somebody to come and fetch me and things, but I couldn't see what specs at all. And so one, uh, this uh, day, I didn't go for to come to this church now for, I think, six weeks or something, you know, and I'm a Sunday school teacher and I'm a deacon. And I just felt devastated, sitting at home, and I went into uh, like a depression, you know, and I felt, ah, doesn't matter. I went to that Sister Jenny, because of her son, I said, Sister Jenny, you're the superintendent, I'm no more, I'm not coming and attending the Sunday school, and the deacon, I'm finished because I feel useless. 
and the next week the sister jenny yesterday uh, i said phone me and said to me look here i'm coming to fetch you i said okay okay now i was trying to work up something not to come here you understand she said brother richard you know something is going to happen to you i feel it i said well, like what she said you know what you i said oh it is woman to now it is anyway i got i looked where she is but anyway i thought now wait i'm going to duck i saw the my word when i opened the door yes she was and i looked right into her face from my car and she said what out who did she said come are you ready i said no not yet so i quickly got dressed and things and i came and you know when i came here and uh, I sat there and and she i i don't know she just touched me so and she said you are here something is going to happen and i was skeptical i said oh man another church service and things but you know the moment it started something i felt such an anointing mm-hmm. i i felt first uneasy and you know i can't explain it man i got goosebumps so and all this and i said hey what's going on with me and so uh, uh, a pastor uh, he called out he said any one of you need to pray and he pray and things hey and i said oh, i couldn't see like and i wondered why i couldn't find my way to walk out here because i didn't I, i was unbalanced i was so unbalanced i thought i'm going to fall when i came here and i got here and when he came i came and as he was just praying he took off my specs he took it off like that so oh and i and when he laid his hand upon my eyes is like you i felt like a fire some kind of a fire on me and in that moment in that moment my eyes was closed eh? when i opened it just like this when i opened i i didn't see where were the specks on i i never see his face like you know i can't see like now i see in your guys faces so when i when i opened my eyes i saw this man's face i said wow i i went to him and i said i can see and i saw the colors i saw the light it's like 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 rays of sunshine that came into me and you know i i just said lord hey oh you know why 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 what happened the tears of joy just came to me i felt even like I, even if i'm talking about this it's like a joy in me that you know it's like rivers of living waters like once i was blind and yeah i can see and i just hug the man of god here yeah, i said hey i think this man must be thinking i'm going crazy but that is the joy and you know it restored me in such a way and this morning this morning i said hey maybe this was all a dream or something let me look and i looked around and honestly i saw the wall the first time i thought it was a gray wall it's actually white pure <laughs> white i said thank you lord that you restored my sight and my faith and that is why i'm here was here tonight and i said thank you to the lord for what he has done and thank you for the wonderful anointing and you still can feel there's a mighty anointing in this place and i praise god for that i feel and then oh yes i must tell you about this other one so too was when i i said to the lord hey but why now my eyes when can't it be my arm or my leg hey and i stepped back into a nail the plank was laying there into the uh-huh. nail and the nail caught me i couldn't walk also yeah i walked like this and uh, as i walk and i came this morning i saw you but look i can walk them because i walk i can walk like this one <laughs> so when i saw you i could walk not only my eyes mm. you know that's why you must be careful what you say to the lord that mm. was a, a nail could have damaged my and it was a rusty nail yeah so uh, 
you know, God not only healed my eyes, there wasn't even a mark. I can show you even now here yeah. on my foot. There's not even a mark. I said, where's this mark here now? And look here. Ah. <laughs> Honest to God. And I praise God for that. And uh, once I was blind and now I can see. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I'm a new creation <laughs> in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen, thank you, Jesus. We just thank God for a wonderful, Hallelujah. perfect miracle. For thank you, brother. Jesus. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you, you viewers. Jesus. This is for you just to stir and that you need to know that our God is alive. And we do not serve Thank a dead God. Praise God. God is alive. Amen. Amen.